I'm going to hit some hard stuff today. And yeah, I'm going to hit some hard stuff today. And it's okay. It's a okay. But I am going to share this before we move on. I was feeling very strongly this morning, like I needed to apologize, but probably not for the reason why some would think. The apology is coming from the side of, and I've shared this before, the things that I share when you guys come and hang out with me on Wednesday are advanced teachings. And I say that multiple times because I've had people that come in that when they join, there's like this feeling that I'm going to be just going through the surface of the letters. You know, I'm going to just talk about the basics. That is not what I want to do. And I won't be doing that from this point out because I saw the destination as Anana. So everything that I'm going to be sharing is going to continually point there. It's going to point there, point there, point there until we all get there because that is the truth. And in the process of that, some of the things that I share are more advanced topics. And Ken and I, you know, we were discussing this the other day because there's, there's a vast gap when you take concepts of the heart and then you try to put words to it. The heart doesn't communicate with words, yet Anana is all heart. And so we're trying to teach, I'll use this word, we try to teach esoteric, which just means hidden, meaning not revealed. Um, we are trying to teach these advanced concepts using words and it's extremely difficult. And so I'll be looking at something and I get this concept and I feel it like I, I, lightning. I freaking feel it. Like Ken calls it lightning in a bottle. And he'll be talking about that this weekend, lightning in a bottle. And I feel it and it comes online. And then I'm like, how do I communicate this? And I know at where we are at, the more that we fully embody a Nana, meaning sweeping more of that ego out, because we're in Westworld. And we're going to deal with a lot of freaking egos. And it's really easy for the ego to come back online and sweeping it out and sweeping it out and sweeping it out and sweeping it out so that all that remains is a nine. And so that's what I'm trying to get us to, knowing that we still will occasionally get the ego to rise up. And you know what? I'm not even really freaking judging that anymore. I just catch it. I'm like, oh, there you are. I see you. Because I don't, it doesn't do us any good to judge it. It doesn't do us any good to, you know, judge ourselves and be hard on ourselves. We just catch it. That's all we do. We just catch it. Rise up, Inanna. If you are one that is really wanting the basic information of the letters, please go seek it out. Please go seek it out. We could have been done with the entire letters, olive through the top by now. We'd have been overdone with that by now, because right? did 10 sessions here and 10 sessions here and seven of this we would have already been doing it if i had been doing it week by week but ruka de kucha said don't so if you are going to and that's what you really desire i suggest you go check out jeff benner's work i suggest that you go see dr yana sanders and darla fields i suggest you go check out hebrew for christians there is many, many, many Hebraic letter teaching peoples out there. Uh, Dale Hoffman is awesome for Aramaic. Go there, go there, go there, go there. They will provide you all of that information. That is not what I'm doing here. And I share that because sometimes my ego feels like I'm being pushed. Like people are frustrated because I'm not sharing the letters. I'm like, oh my God, can you get off Dalit already? 10 sessions? And I'm like, no. If Ruka Takucha says we need to slow down, I'm going to slow down. And if Ruka Takucha says that I need to share certain things, I have long since set that ego aside thinking that I have to hurry up anywhere. I don't need to go anywhere. I just need to be. And as long as I'm embodying Anana and I'm listening through Ruka Takucha, you are going to get exactly what we need as a family right now. I'd rather have my daily manna today than something that I thought about six months ago to try to teach to you today. That's old, that's stale. That's not current, that's past. We're gonna talk about in the presence, in the now, what is being shared, and that's how I'm presenting. If you are following me, then I have done a really crappy job. Only the ego needs to follow. My heart is that the sheep would realize that they are their own shepherd and you don't need a shepherd. You are your own shepherd. 